What's up guys, my name is Brock, you're watching The Modest Man. We're here at Marcial Vivo in West Village and today is the day getting a haircut. I know, I saw that in there. I was like, I wasn't quite sure what that was. Get out of your face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's good. Yeah, so we'll frame the hair around your face so that way you're not having this happen. Yeah. So, yeah, cool. definitely. No more bobby pins. Exactly. No more bobby pins, a little less weight, more shape on the sides, and but we'll still try to keep that length kind of flowing. Cool. Perfect. All right, well, we're going to start you off with a shampoo, Brock, okay? Sounds good. Perfect. All right. Yeah, so essentially what's what we did last time, isolated the sides out a little bit, just kind of clean things up a little bit. <clears throat> essentially, I want to do the same thing. This part is different than this part, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to section out the top to preserve the length on the top. Like, even though we want to still keep growing the length out, but you still have to have shape, mm -hmm. you still have to have some texture and weight removed, okay. or else it's just going to turn into this big orb of hair. Okay. So, yeah. so. That's generally, that's what's gonna be my approach. And uh, yeah, we're gonna really just try to like work with the length, obviously, but frame it around your face. So that way you're not having to put too much effort into styling it. And some of you guys end up with the, the undercut side part. It's a great haircut. Yeah. It's also yeah. a very safe haircut. It's know? a safe haircut, right. Because it's kind of been done so many times right. to the point where it's like, okay, well, I have so many examples of an undercut now, you know? Now, you know, people are kind of growing out of that and wanting to grow their hair out a little bit longer, but just they get fed up, they get tired of it because of these things that yeah. <laughs> you're struggling with, mm -hmm. you know, it falls in my face, right. it's too heavy here, it's like, it's like curling out. It's less predictable. It's, yeah, yeah. exactly, exactly. For starters, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure I'm framing this not going so far past your eyebrows because I don't want it to fall over here. I want it to become a little more graduated going from long to short this way. It's eventually going to swoop back here and it's going to flow more towards the behind your ear. Okay. So that's the effect that you have to that we have to do with this part, this section right through here. What's part of this haircut, part of this style is that you, you take sections from further back here and work them towards the front. It starts to do this like kind of scoop where it kind of scoops behind the ear now. So where it's already starting to look like that. Yeah. So even just that little bit does help. Yeah, you know, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So that in itself already is kind of showing where the hair wants to push, it wants to push the hair. So now 
my, my next step that I'm gonna go into is I'm gonna move back over towards the original side that I'm like going on. I'm gonna take vertical sections and cut a square shape. So you see how in the back, it's already all that layers are kind of carved in, mm -hmm. but then right here, it's kind of flat. Same thing with that side, flat on that side. I'm gonna break this up in these areas so that way it's not so heavy for you. Yeah, so you see how things are starting to flow back now? Yeah. Whereas now it's drying, right? Mm -hmm. So now it's starting to come back behind, give you a little bit more shape on the sides, yeah. but you're still showing those textured and shattered edges on the on the bait and the behind. Yeah. You see? Yeah. So now it's start, yeah, starting to give you that. Exactly. It's that silhouette that we're trying to strive for too now. So now I'm gonna take down the top because this is where we're still using the razor at this point right now. So we're gonna break up a lot of this heaviness. All right, you're set. You're gonna be set for life. So now, as we're taking the length, bringing it into the sides, we're, we're checking it out, making sure we're gonna be removing some of this heaviness, because we still wanna keep the length, right? You know, we wanna keep that. Same thing goes, I mean, we're just gonna kind of follow this pattern until we get to the, basically where all this hair is over here and we're gonna be breaking it up and then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side just to keep it all, again, even, you know? Thank you.
So with the top, I'm coming from behind this hair to create a little more lift. So that way when you brush it back, it's not gonna be flat and heavy. It's gonna have a little bit more texture put into it. With your hair, what I've noticed is from the last haircut is when it's kind of like freshly shampooed and dry and it's drying, it kind of gets bigger. So I'm gonna put a little bit of uh, cream as to prime the hair a little bit more as it dries. So just going from underneath, work it from the, the actual root to the mid shaft. And the razor helps you kind of do a little, a little fine tuning to making everything look sort of natural still, you know? Not making it look too punched in. Because I, I wouldn't necessarily want to use like clippers around the ears. Just I just want to like break it up so that way it's still kind of a little bit more natural coming over. All right, so I'm gonna try to dry it a little bit with a diffuser just to try to see if we can mimic what it looks like whenever you do it. Okay. Usually start from the back. Kind of what I do is I take the hair up and kind of put the diffuser sort of underneath it. Okay. So I want to dry the root to the mid shaft. Okay. I don't want to stress out or dry too much of the ends because I want the ends to kind of happen a little more natural. <coughs> and I work my way up towards the back. So I don't want it to get too flat back here. I'm gonna get a little bit of height back here to kind of make make it look like it's not so flat. It makes it a little bit have a little more dimension. It's not so like slick, you know. That's not the look that we're trying to go for, right? And so, with a lot of the times when when I usually try to style these haircuts, is like I concentrate on is obviously the jawline, like we talked about earlier, and another one is with eye eye level, like with the ears. I think that sometimes when hair covers over the ears too much, mm -hmm. it kind of makes it a look, it kind of bumps it out a little too much. Yeah, and whenever you're like kind of styling it after, afterwards too, just to kind of get the final, final touches, always just kind of like crimp, crimp it. Not, don't like, you know, run your fingers too much through it. You could still do it for that style of like making it look a little more streamlined, but. Yeah, just kind of like going from underneath out okay. and then because it gives you a little bit more of that definition. Yeah. All right, now that it's dry, I usually like to kind of still even still go back in mm -hmm. a little bit of this length. I think it looks great, man. What do you yeah. think, Brock? I like that one. Yeah? yeah? You think it looks good? Here, let me show you what kind of it's all sort of turning into. So you see, you see, you have, you still have the length. You just got all that heaviness taken out of it. And so if, if you need a little more control, say it's a windy day or whatever, is hairspray yeah. the way to go? Hairspray, mousse, or gel. Okay. Uh, gel really helps whenever you're, if, you're still trying to make it like if it's looking a little too dry. I like to do a light amount of gel just okay. to kind of run through it a little bit. But I usually, again, same thing as I was doing with the cream is trying to go from inside the hair. Because you don't want to just put it on top because then it just lays flat. Yeah. You know, you want to get it inside. Again, scrunching it. Just give it a little more, just a tiny bit of weight. Yeah, a tiny bit more weight just to kind of like come back a little bit. 
Yeah, I know that you have these little curly guys here, mm -hmm. but since it's kind of it was layered accordingly this time around, it looks like as if they're not shooting out as much. Yeah. They're kind of they're still going they're still going back, you know, behind behind the ear where we want the hair to go. And it's fine to just tuck those guys behind. Yeah, the absolutely, because it's still yeah. it's longer now. It's longer than it was last time. So, so yeah, now that it's got more. Yeah, I think it looks yeah, great, man. That. Nice tidy up. But yeah, all that all that heaviness, man. It was a lot. <laughs> yeah, <on> <laughs> yeah, it looks great, man. Thanks guys for checking us out. Today, we just have pulled off a nice removal of a lot of the weight in Brock's hair, keeping this nice shape, still maintaining a lot of the length, but just giving him something that he can kind of still grow out in the next several months. You can always find me at Marcial Vavo, the downtown location, uh, Tuesday through Saturday. Uh, and anytime you need to book an appointment, check out our website, marcialvavo.com. Thanks. Thanks, sir. Appreciate Pleasure. It. It's a pleasure.